Very sedate, docile, loving, very patient. Moki is a chilled out cat, but he's also a potential killer. That's why Ann Woolley keeps him inside. We're not uh, big advocates of cats wandering around outside, killing birds, um, getting into trouble, um, and killing birds just for the fun of it. For every Moki inside, there are lots of others outside hunting birds. A new Environment Canada study shows of the 270 million birds that died because of human activity, 200 million of those are deaths caused by cats owned or not controlled well by humans. Very surprising result showing that a cat that you just think is out there wandering around the premises would actually be killing 10 or 12 birds each night. Birds are also hitting things like vehicles, buildings and transmission lines, dying in the millions every year. But when you add up the number of buildings in Canada or the kilometers of power lines or the number of vehicles, it really is a huge number. And so those estimates are in the hundreds of thousands to millions as well. The oil and gas industry and wind turbines, which are often blamed for causing bird deaths, aren't on the list of top killers. Conservation groups that focus their campaigns on those industries say they may have to rethink their approach. Maybe we should be paying more attention to, to, to these other sorts of direct losses of birds that are related to people. Which brings us back to the biggest culprit. Ann Woolley thinks many customers at her cat supply store will be surprised to hear their felines are bird felons. I'm honest with customers and tell them that my cats are all indoor cats and that they really are better off inside and the birds are better off. Environment Canada is using this study to plan for future conservation and more research on the birds most affected by humans and their cats. Margot McDermott, CBC News, Ottawa.